The Hall of Malevolence mod is... It's an augment mod for the Hall of Mirrors ability for Mirage. I'll get there eventually. But line of thought just disappeared there. And what it does is it adds damage multipliers to your doppelgangers. It increases it by 5% for every time you get a kill. And I missed this one because the only way to get this... And this is why I missed it. Orbiters of Hexus or Cephalon Suda. Kind of like the Limbo Augments, I'm not with them, so I, I just don't have them. But, luckily one of my clan members, uh, Wubong, actually hooked me up with this, which allowed me to do this, because I came across this Augment and went, why haven't I taken a look at this, and then realised, oh, I don't have it, that's why I haven't had a look at it. When it came to actually fitting this, I kind of decided health and shields had to stay because is it 240 health if I take it off? Yes, 240 health, 240 shields is not enough. Prime continuity had to go on because Hall of Mirrors is a duration and strength based thing. <laughs> and there's the building work in the background. So how to set this up for strength and duration. Uh, I was toying with a fleeting expertise, but it takes away from duration, so that was instantly out. Blind Rage, same thing, but it messed with the uh, efficiency, and it took it sub-100, so I thought, well, we'll try to avoid that. Narrow-minded was just a must, has to go in there. It took it to 254, and because it messes with range, and Hall of Mirrors doesn't use range, it's just, it's a must. Which kind of left me stuck with the only thing left really is transient fortitude or blind rage. And choosing between the two was not easy. And this is the reason that I left Primed Flow in. Because 81% power strength versus 45% power strength. Yeah, it was kind of a no-brainer. No even though I did just say before that taking it out was probably a better idea. Because... Throwing on Power Drift means 196% power strength, 254% power duration. Unfortunately, the power efficiency did go below, but if I do put Fleeting Expertise in, things kind of go really bad because, okay, it does take it into the positives, but power duration goes down. And it, Honestly, to me, it's not worth the sacrifice when you can keep the duration and just throw something like Primed Flow in, even a normal flow will do. And, come on, 638 power, if you can't make that last, you're doing something wrong. There are two major drawbacks to this mod. It's hidden within, well, it's not hidden, it's within Orbiters of Hexus or Cephalon Suda, which can be a pain, because 25,000 rep to get it. You've got to be max rank to actually get a hold of it. So just swapping to one of those to get a hold of the Augment, to go back to who you were with, wouldn't work. And then when Hall of Mirrors actually expires, the added power strength that this adds gets reset. So once you activate it, you have to stack back up those stacks. On that, it will stack 10 times for a total of 50% more damage. And that became really noticeable when going up against some of the heavy enemies. Because it would go from 2 or 3 rounds without this augment to throwing it in there and it's almost one-shotting them. It was one-shotting them a few times. And of course, if you put Eclipse on as on top of this, that can add up to, I think mine's 3.92 uh, damage multiplier. With, of course, it does have a damage reduction that goes with that, but that's a whole different thing. So Eclipse with Hall of Mirrors and this augment is I wouldn't say it's overpowering, but that extra power there was very noticeable compared to not having this on there. And I could not just make any sense out of why I didn't find this augment earlier. I only came across it because, well, somebody was on about they were selling Cephalon Suda mods and there's two Limbo ones I wanted. So I just kind of looked through and went, oh, I don't have this one. And then I looked at it and went, Wow, why don't I have this one? I really should have looked at this one earlier. And it would be so much better if it was Orbiters of Hexus or Cephalon Suda and one of the other ones because probably the biggest downside to this, considering how useful it is, is the fact it's locked to them two particular syndicates. And well, 
not everybody's with Orbit as of Hexus and Cephalon Suda if you've gone for the uh, parent sequence or I'm trying to remember the name of the other one, New Loka. You can't get this augment at all unless you obviously trade for it.